Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we're going to be taking a look at another fully playable character mod for Kingdom Hearts 3. This time, it's Roxas. Now, of course, Roxas is already playable in the game via the Remind DLC. We were able to play as him, sporting his Organization 13 coat, whilst dual wielding the Oath Keeper and Oblivion. So, what's different about this mod is it allows us to play the whole entirety of Kingdom Hearts 3 from start to finish as Roxas with a unique moveset. One that's a little bit different from the playable Roxas we get in the Remind DLC. As you guys should know, he is quite limited as he was only intended to be used in that one specific uh, fight against Syak. So this mod will allow us to do everything that Sora is usually able to do, but as Roxas. And of course, Roxas is here in his casual attire. The model of Roxas is created by beloved Somnus. Yes, there is actually a model of Roxas wearing his normal casual attire in Kingdom Hearts 3 as it does appear in one cutscene. On top of that, the Roxas voice, yes, there are even battle quotes, has been created by Skald. <laughs> The illustrated Roxas heads up display icon is created by Das Mantissimo, and the custom Roxas moveset known as moveset number 13 is created by Forever756. So the moveset mod is the absolute core of this. That's going to change all of Sora's different animations to do with his combo modifiers to be more in line with a Roxas-esque attacking style. Uh, these animations are of course mixing and melding a bunch that are already existing within the game, taken from uh, abilities from Xemnas, as well as dual wield Roxas. And it's not just the base combos that have been changed too, but when looking towards second form, dark form and light form, their combos have been modified as well. So let's start off with the basic stuff. The run animation has been changed to be more in line with Roxas's run animation from Kingdom Hearts 2. Zora usually holds the Keyblade over his shoulder while running, but Roxas holds it down by his hip. So it's cool to see that that animation is here for this moveset mod. The dodge roll animation has been changed to the reversal animation, and I think this makes a lot of sense more so for a casual Roxas setup. Uh, Roxas's dodge, as seen in 358 over two days, is more of a simple quick dash forward. So to be able to execute reversal at absolute will by just simply pressing square is really, really satisfying. Guard has been changed to the dual wield Roxas guard, so for those of you who are familiar with double forms guard, it is the pretty much exact same thing. And it's kind of neat too, because when he guards, he summons forth like an extra keyblade real quick because that's just part of that animation data which personally I think looks really cool here. Double flight has been changed so rather than Sora's traditional spin that he does for his second jump, Roxas will curl into a ball and do a multitude of flips. So for the base combo a lot of the different animations have been changed towards the combo modifiers mixing in animations from dark and light form which is really nice and makes perfect sense here for Roxas. The combo finisher that we have here is Last Charge, and that's been changed to the dash forward attack that Jeweled Roxas uses. However, if we put on Magic Flash, that animation has also been changed. Of course, you can pick between either Last Charge or Magic Flash, and Magic Flashes is really cool. It's now Axel's Chakram Throw, throwing both of the Chakrams forward to create a fiery explosion. The aerial combo is much the same to the base ground combo, except the finisher is integrating a Jeweled Roxas aerial attack finisher, which is Roxas's little buzzsaw spin in mid-air. Very similar to the attack that Roxas pulls off in his fight in Kingdom Hearts 2. Second form is really styling, integrating animations from Roxas's jeweled form, but also Xemnas's attacks as well. We've got the Twilight Thorn looking uh, breakdance attack, followed up with a slide attack on the ground, again from Xemnas, finally finishing up with one of Xemnas's laser strike attacks. Yeah, this looks cool as shit. And the aerial combo integrates more of those dual wield Roxas fancy moves, but the finisher towards this is bad ass. We've got the Twilight Thorn attacks going on, ripped from Xemnas. We've got the lightsaber twirl of the dark side, followed up with one roundhouse kick that is unbelievably stretchy. For light form, we've got more of the dual wield Roxas goodness going on, but for the two finishes, these have been changed. We have the last charge animation, but with more of a light effect integrated, and bada bing, bada boom, whipping up an Ultima Slam light sandwich. The aerial combo 
incorporates a lot of double forms animations, but the finisher here is something quite cool. Roxas almost drill spins forward with a big looking light sphere in front of him. I want to say that this is pulled from Xemnas' moveset, but I'm not absolutely certain. Uh, it looks like the effect is something from Xemnas, but again, not certain. The effect of Lightform's dodge has also been changed too. Darkform works in a similar way where we've got more of the dual wield Roxas and some double form stuff going on, but for the final two ground combo finishes, we have the last charge animation, but the effect is now being replaced with more of a darkness type one. And the finisher is the same from normal dark form, however, the effect is different, being ripped from Ansem's data fight. Just like light form, the aerial combo is very similar. Swiper is definitely swiping and the finisher is the same except the effect is different, being more of a darkness based one. And again, the dodge effect has been changed. I actually really like this one, I do prefer it over Dark Form's normal dodge. It stands out more with the better darkness effect being used here. However, if you want to take the Roxas mod to the absolute next level and change all of Sora's form outfits and world specific outfits, even including his Quadratum version as well as his Kingdom Hearts 2 model, to something more Roxas-esque, then you can do that to have more of a convincing Roxas playthrough. Thanks to Doge X Tylom's Roxas Expanded mod, it literally changes all of Sora's forms to that of altered Roxas ones. So that right there is the breakdown of the custom moveset for Roxas. Uh, combining all of these mods together gives you a really cool fully playable Roxas mod for Kingdom Hearts 3, being able to play as him from start to finish. Shout out to the mod creators, especially Forever756 for the fantastic work they did towards the moveset. As always guys, I will leave the links to the mods in the description down below. However, I'll leave you guys with some gameplay to example just how awesome this mod is.